Hello, dear brothers and sisters, it is a pleasure to welcome you to another powerful psalm that inspires and strengthens us. Today, we will delve into Psalm, an inexhaustible source of comfort and faith. I invite you to join me on this journey of reflection and spiritual renewal. Let's explore together the depths of this Psalm 104 and discover the transformative truths it offers us. Psalm 104 is a powerful ode of praise and worship that resonates through the pages of the Bible, echoing the greatness and majesty of the Creator of the universe. This Psalm, found in the Book of Psalms, is a vibrant celebration of creation and divine providence, where each verse paints a vivid picture of God's beauty and care for His creation. The introduction to this psalm plunges the reader into a deep sense of reverence and admiration for the greatness of God. By beginning with the words, Praise the Lord, O my soul, the psalmist summons not only himself, but his entire essence, to pay homage to the Lord. This solemn invocation immediately sets the tone for what follows, a moving testimony to the Creator's greatness and goodness. Psalm 104 poetically portrays creation as a living testimony to the glory of God. He describes the Lord as one who is clothed with splendor and majesty, whose light is like a radiant robe that covers all creation. From the heavens to the ends of the earth, every element of nature is painted as a reflection of divine wisdom and power. Throughout this psalm, we are taken on a journey through the creative work of God. He stretches out the heavens like a tent, establishes the earth on its foundations, and covers it with water. We see the elements of nature, wind, fire, water, all under the command of the Creator, demonstrating His sovereignty over all creation. Furthermore, Psalm 104 celebrates God's generous providence toward His creatures. From the wild animals to the birds of the sky, from the plants to the vast and unfathomable seas, every living being is sustained by the loving hand of the Lord. The details of divine provision are described with a richness of imagery that inspires awe and gratitude. This psalm is not just eloquent poetry, but a declaration of faith and trust in God's faithfulness. He encourages the soul to sing praises to the Lord, to rejoice in His presence, and to trust in His constant care. Through the ages, Psalm 104 has been a source of comfort and inspiration for those who recognize the greatness of the Creator and the beauty of His creation. Psalm 104 is a poetic composition deeply rooted in the spiritual and literary tradition of the Old Testament. It stands out as an eloquent testimony to divine grandeur, inviting the reader to contemplate the majesty of God revealed in creation. This psalm, a jewel of Hebrew literature, delves into the depths of worship, weaving a tapestry of vivid, powerful images that depict the beauty and order of God's created universe. By opening with the call, Praise the Lord, O my soul, the psalmist invites a full and personal worship, encouraging not only the lips, but the entire being to turn to the Creator. This invocation resonates as a call to reverence and surrender before divine greatness, establishing a tone of devotion that permeates the entire psalm. Psalm 104 unfolds like a lush tapestry, where each verse paints a vibrant scene of God's creative work. Poetic language is rich in images that evoke the power and beauty of the Creator. He wraps himself in light, stretches the heavens like a veil, establishes the earth on its foundations, and covers it with waters. Each description is an open window to contemplate the magnitude of the universe and the wisdom of its architect. Furthermore, the psalm reveals God's abundant provision for all creatures. From the wild animals to the birds of the sky, from the springs and the valleys to the deep waters of the sea, every living being finds sustenance in the Creator's bounty. 
Nature is portrayed as a reflection of divine kindness and care, inviting us to trust in God's faithfulness to meet all our needs. This psalm is not only an expression of praise, but also an invitation to reflection and gratitude. It reminds us of the beauty and complexity of the world around us, inviting us to contemplate the divine presence in every detail of creation. In doing so, Psalm 104 inspires a response of devotion and trust in the one who is the author and sustainer of all life. Now we will meditate on Psalm 104, and then we will say a prayer, and then we will pray the Our Father. Praise the Lord, my soul. Lord my God, you are very great. You are clothed with splendor and majesty. The Lord wraps himself in light as with a garment. He stretches out the heavens like a tent and lays the beams of his upper chambers on their waters. He makes the clouds his chariot and rides on the wings of the wind. He makes winds his messengers, flames of fire his servants. He set the earth on its foundations. It can never be moved. You covered it with the watery depths as with a garment. The waters stood above the mountains, but at your rebuke the waters fled. At the sound of your thunder they took to flight. They flowed over the mountains. They went down into the valleys, to the place you assigned for them. You set a boundary they cannot cross. Never again will they cover the earth. He makes springs pour water into the ravines. It flows between the mountains. They give water to all the beasts of the field. The wild donkeys quench their thirst. The birds of the sky nest by the waters. They sing among the branches. He waters the mountains from his upper chambers. The land is satisfied by the fruit of his work. He makes grass grow for the cattle and plants for people to cultivate, bringing forth food from the earth, wine that gladdens human hearts, oil to make their faces shine, and bread that sustains their hearts. The trees of the Lord are well watered, the cedars of Lebanon that he planted. There the birds make their nests. The stork has its home in the junipers. The high mountains belong to the wild goats. The crags are a refuge for the hyrax. He made the moon to mark the seasons, and the sun knows when to go down. You bring darkness, it becomes night, and all the beasts of the forest prowl. The lions roar for their prey and seek their food from God. The sun rises and they steal away. They return and lie down in their dens. Then people go out to their work to their labor until evening. How many are your works, Lord? In wisdom you made them all. The earth is full of your creatures. There is the sea, vast and spacious, teeming with creatures beyond number, living things both large and small. There the ships go to and fro, and Leviathan, which you formed to frolic there. All creatures look to you to give them their food at the proper time. When you give it to them, they gather it up. When you open your hand, they are satisfied with good things. When you hide your face, they are terrified. When you take away their breath, they die and return to the dust. When you send your spirit, they are created and you renew the face of the ground. May the glory of the Lord endure forever. May the Lord rejoice in his works. He who looks at the earth and it trembles, who touches the mountains and they smoke. I will sing to the Lord all my life. I will sing praise to my God as long as I live. May my meditation be pleasing to him as I rejoice in the Lord. But may sinners vanish from the earth and the wicked be no more. Lord God and Heavenly Father, I now approach your presence to cry out for blessings upon each individual gathered here, upon each family represented. I ask you, Lord, to free your sons and daughters from difficult times, to heal the sick, to be at the side of those in hospitals, 
and for all wounds to be healed by your powerful hand. Lord, I pray that you put away every envy, every evil eye, every snare of the enemy that seeks to harm your children. Remember the story of Isaac, who was envied by Abimelech and others. So, I ask you, Lord, free your sons and daughters from all envy and all evil that may surround them. In your word we find comfort and hope. We recognize that we have been through many struggles, through arid deserts, and sometimes the temptation to give up becomes strong. Therefore, Lord, I beg you to attend to each one of us, to perform miracles in our lives, to free us from all evil and grant us the peace that we so desire in our hearts. May your children's dreams and desires be blessed by you, Lord. May difficulties become opportunities for growth and may sadness dissipate in the face of your divine light. Grant, Lord, the restoration of life for each of us, the healing for broken hearts and the joy that only you can give. Also bless all nations and people connected through this prayer. May your presence be felt in every home, in every heart that cries out for you. You are our refuge and our fortress, and only in you do we find true salvation. I thank you, Lord, for your infinite mercy and love shown on the cross. May your name be exalted forever. May your blessings abound upon us. May we be kept from all evil in the name of Jesus. Heavenly Father, we turn to you in this hour with humility and reverence, seeking your grace and mercy upon every soul present here and in every family represented. We ask you, Lord, to free your loved ones from moments of anguish and affliction, to heal the sick and bring comfort to those suffering in hospital beds. May your powerful hand be extended to heal all wounds, physical and emotional, bringing renewal and restoration. In your infinite wisdom, we know that you understand the struggles of your sons and daughters. Therefore, we beg you to remove all envy and evil eyes that try to harm us. Just as you protected Isaac from the envy of Abimelech and others, we ask you, Lord, to free us from all evil, guiding us away from the bonds of the enemy. You are a firm rock our safe refuge in times of storm. In your hands we place our burdens and worries, trusting that you hear our prayers and respond in accordance with your perfect will. Grant us strength to persevere in adversity and faith to trust in your sovereign plans. May the dreams and aspirations of your children be blessed by your abundant grace. May challenges become opportunities for spiritual growth and may sadness be replaced by the joy that we only find in your presence. May the light of your truth dispel all darkness and guide us along the path of hope and peace. Pour, Lord, your blessing on all nations and people united by this prayer. May your love overflow in every heart and may your peace reign in every home. You are our Savior, the Prince of Peace, and we trust you to guide us through every trial. We thank you, Lord, for your constant faithfulness and unwavering love. May your name be glorified forever. Protect us from all evil. Strengthen us in your grace and grant us victory over our difficulties. In the name of Jesus, our Lord and Savior, we pray. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts, as we also have forgiven our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever. Amen. Glory to God. As we conclude this exegesis of Psalm 104, we are urged to contemplate not only the poetic words and images, but also the underlying message of trust and gratitude that echoes through each verse. This psalm transcends its nature as a simple literary composition 
and becomes an invitation to deep contemplation and spiritual connection with the divine. In closing this study, it is crucial to recognize the continued relevance of Psalm 104 in our lives today. Although written thousands of years ago, its message resonates in our hearts, challenging us to recognize God's presence in our own existence and in the wonder of creation that surrounds us. We are invited to contemplate the grandeur of the universe and the generosity of the Creator, finding comfort, inspiration, and hope in it. Furthermore, Psalm 104 calls us to action, reminding us of our responsibility as guardians of creation. As we witness the beauty and complexity of the natural world, we are challenged to care for and preserve the resources entrusted to us. This psalm reminds us that we are part of an interconnected ecosystem, and our relationship with creation reflects our devotion to God and others. As we close our reflection on Psalm 104, we are invited to let its words resonate in our hearts and influence our daily lives. May we find inspiration in the worship and gratitude expressed in this psalm, and may we live our lives in response to the greatness and goodness of the God who is so vividly portrayed in its words. May Psalm 104 continue to guide us on our spiritual journey, always reminding us of the majesty of the Creator and the deep love He has for all of His creation. May we thus live in harmony with God, with each other, and with the world that He so lovingly gave us. As we conclude this analysis of Psalm 104, we are led to a deeper appreciation of the spiritual and poetic richness of this sacred text. This ancient song transcends time and space, touching the innermost fibers of our humanity and awakening in us a renewed reverence for the Creator and Sustainer of all life. At this point of reflection, it is imperative to recognize the ongoing relevance of this psalm in our modern lives. Despite being written millennia ago, its message resonates powerfully with the challenges and joys of our daily lives. As we contemplate the wonders of creation, we are reminded of our intrinsic connection with the divine and our responsibility to be good stewards of the resources entrusted to us. Furthermore, Psalm 104 calls us to transformative action. He inspires us to adopt a sustainable and compassionate lifestyle where we recognize our interdependence with all forms of life and strive to preserve and protect the natural world. In doing so, we reflect not only our devotion to God, but also our love and care for others and future generations. As we close our meditation on Psalm 104, we are challenged to let its truths penetrate every aspect of our lives. May we commit to living in harmony with creation, recognizing the beauty and goodness of the Creator in all things. May this psalm inspire us to cultivate a vibrant spirituality and ecological awareness, guided by the desire to honor God in everything we do. May Psalm 104 continue to resonate in our hearts as a hymn of praise and gratitude, nourishing our faith and strengthening our commitment to justice and reconciliation in a world so needy. May we truly be agents of change and hope, reflecting the light and love of the God whose glory is so eloquently proclaimed in this precious psalm. So be it.